fuck you're old. Bring it on one night, Willie. Hello there. Welcome back. I'm glad you could join me today. Alrighty. Look at that view. Okay, look over top of my junk pile. Oh, do I have everything buttoned up? I do not. Alrighty. Ha ha! Let's go do something. I'll have to get gas. Some point. Ah. What a good day. I had to go to Boise to take my mom to the dentist. Did fencing and shit yesterday. Started a bridge. Yes, I have to build a bridge over a over a canal. Oh. Been waiting days to get on this thing. Let's go town first. Ah. Cracking that throttle just a hair. Oh, yeah! Finally out. God, this feels good. Oh, the one thing I want to talk to you guys about is uh, bikers going down. I'm gonna turn my music down a little bit. Bikers going down. So I know a lot of you guys. Uh, the one I was on. A lot of you guys are worried about traffic. You know, which is a good thing to worry about. Is the guy going to get hit by another fucking car? So, uh, one thing I, I want to point out is a lot of guys I noticed were a little too paranoid about traffic. If the bike is off the road, the rider is off the road. So clear off all the, the helpers' bikes as much as possible. And then, don't worry about it try not to move the injured rider at all for a while afterwards you want to give them several minutes uh, for the adrenaline to kind of soothe down out of his system because he, honestly I, after a guy that's actually fell and broke shit I tell you you don't feel it right away you might feel some of it you might feel a twinge a pinch oh fuck but your endorphins and shit are kicked in like Mad Hatter, and so a lot of it, it takes a minute or two to start uh, start feeling that. So whatever you do, try not to move the rider. Whatever position he was in when you get there, leave him like that. And then figure out where they're going to call for an ambulance right away. If you're not, let him sit there. There's no hurry in it. You know, usually the guy will know after a couple of minutes if he wants to get up and stuff. Just make sure he does it slow. Uh, I just want to point that out. Uh, traffic is good to worry about. Oh, we got wind going on. Holy crap. Uh, traffic is always good to worry about, but unless there's a hazard, just get, if everything's already off the road, don't fucking worry about it. If you really worry about it, put a guy up there, just have him, hey, everybody slow down. As soon as I see a bike alongside the road, they're gonna slow down anyway. So, that's done. My tires feel cold as shit. Turn this shit up! Well, how you doing? Yeah, don't look at me. I'm just a biker. You've seen one before. I missed all the tourists in town, so I didn't get gawked at. <laughs> oh, we got an ATV guy coming up.
55. Oh, the school's here. Oh, let's go. Let's do a lap in the school. Have kids take up fucking weirder shit. Are they gone? I don't know what that kid was. Well, he had a double take on him. He didn't know what to do. He looked at me like, what the shit are you? He was probably thinking, who in the fuck is that dork? Where's I go? This is my normal, my normal rest stop. Get a half cigarette, have a Coke, whatever. Stinkers. They're stinky. Bye, sisters. Oh, I think we might be able to have fun with this one. Maybe. Like, oh, 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 I didn't see the speed, but I think I was breaking 135. Pulled a fucking wheelie when I came out the second time. I felt the wobble. I was like, you get back on there, you son of a bitch. I got up what I could. Ah. Buffalo. That's the Buffalo Ranch right there. Guy's driving off the fucking road. What's with all the traffic? I want to pass. Let me fucking pass. was a humongous tar fucking bullshit. God damn. Oh man. Thick with the tar today, guys? Jesus fucking Christ. Okay, but not. Oh, hold on! I got... What's up, dude? Sure!
You having fun? What? You having fun? You having fun? Yeah. Very cool. Yeah, I live down by Lake Fork. Yeah. And dirty, but I love her. <laughs> we'll catch you later. Good fucking day. Oh my god. Good run. And a couple could get on a little bit. Not too much. That one I was kind of like, whoa, hey, hey, hey. That road's really bad where I got on it. It's a little bumpy. And my god, that tar patch they put into McCall right next to fault detectors in the parking lot. That thing has to be. Uh, four foot wide and about six foot long. I started going on there. I'm like, is that a solid tar? It was like, whoa, whoa, whoa. like holy shit, boss. <sighs> <sighs> oh, hit myself in the head. Well, you two, not a lot of talking today, but hey, it was fun. Hope everybody has a good one. I'll catch you on the next one. It's over. Go home.